Finally, spring is here, and it's time for bluebirds to make their nests and lay their eggs. These two bluebirds have been very busy making their nest. And now, they laid eggs, and as you can see, one of them already hatched a few days later. Even though this doesn't really look like a bird, it'll grow quickly since the parents are constantly feeding them. They have to feed them at least two times an hour. I see them feeding them around eight times an hour. These parents are very busy. They have to look out for things like birds of prey and cats and other predators. The bluebirds are growing quickly since they're being fed so much. It's amazing how the bluebirds have to find food from hundreds of feet in the sky looking down at a field of grass and somehow they can locate the food and bring it back quickly for their babies. This thing that the mom is carrying out is called a white sack. It's waste that they're cleaning out of the nest. Around three weeks later, the bluebirds are actually almost ready to leave the nest. Every once in a while, they will flap their wings and their beaks look more like beaks now. They also have feathers coming in. And their eyes are open. These tiny bluebirds are almost ready to go. Bluebirds' population was in danger because there was so little of them. They couldn't ever find their places to make nests, so babies were never being born. That's why bluebird houses are a big help. If you know you live in an area where bluebirds live, try putting out a bluebird house. Only a few simple steps and you can watch and enjoy bluebirds making their nests and teaching their babies to fly every year. The parents feed their babies a lot of spiders, crickets, and other insects, especially spiders at this time because they have a lot of protein to help their babies grow quickly. Once they get older, they'll feed them a lot of crickets since that's what the adults eat most. They also eat moths, caterpillars, and butterflies. Bluebirds are insect eaters. To help the bluebirds out, and to also see what it was like when they were hunting, I put this tray out and put some grass on it, covering up a whole bunch of mealworms I put out. I do this every once in a while to help the bluebirds out, and to also see a pretty fun to watch thing. If you like this up close awesome footage, then you should watch my other video that's completely all just birds eating off of this tray. All different types, including bluebirds. As you can see, this mom already has a mole cricket in her mouth. So she's gonna put that back and feed the bluebirds and come back and get more mealworms when she's done. But the dad has no problem fitting nearly five mealworms in his beak. The parents have to eat too. So whenever they can, they eat some of their own food and bring the rest back to the babies.
As you can see, the female bluebirds have less bright blue and are more brown, while the males are very bright blue and have a red belly. After a few weeks, the baby bluebirds are now big enough to leave the nest. By this time, the nest is very dirty and can be filled with parasites, so the parents try to get them out of it as soon as possible, even if it's in a thunderstorm. One of the baby bluebirds, the first to leave the nest, came onto our porch to stay dry. You can see how these birds don't know what to do. They weren't even scared of me. This one's being called by its parents, and so it quickly flew out. This is another baby, the second one to leave the nest. They're just learning to fly, and they're trying to strengthen their wing muscles so they'll be able to fly farther distance. It was cute how they kept going on our porch and jumping around things. In all this rain, the birds are trying to stay dry and stay hidden, since predators are on the lookout, especially for baby birds. They're just hopelessly on the ground and don't know what to be afraid of yet. This one is calling its mom. It's hungry. The parents have to be able to locate all four of their babies and bring food to them in the middle of this thunderstorm. Multiple birds of prey kept flying over. Looks like dad is here to feed the baby. A couple of days later, all the babies have left and flown away to start their new lives. But then, the parents from the last nest decide to make a new nest with new babies in the same nesting box. And it looks like the baby from that bush is staying with them. This happens every once in a while, when a baby from the last nest stays with the parents to help them out with a new nest, even though it doesn't really know what to do. As you can see, now can fly really well, and even could fly to the top of this tree, when before, it couldn't even fly a few feet. They learn very quickly. Just like last time, the parents are very quick at building their nest, and it looks like they're just using pine needles, the pine needles from our neighbor's yard. Now, one egg is laid, and a few days later, five eggs. That's the most bluebirds can lay. And then about a week after, two babies have hatched. They're already being fed very quickly and it'll start all over again. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing this.